And so in, the, in this class, I have conversations about us looking at what does it mean to be a settler? My name is uh, Kelly Lorla and I am a uh, part-time lecturer in, at uh, Renison University College. So this course, Reconciliation and its Implications for Settler Peoples, is really to help non-Indigenous peoples understand what is the connection of them to the reconciliation process that's uh, going on in Canada. To hear the word settler is, is unsettling, for one thing, but a lot of people don't associate themselves as being a settler. Oftentimes people think about it as the first peoples coming to, to the lands. And so part of reconciliation, in fact a big part, is before we can have conversations around how to make better relations between Indigenous people, we have to start to understand who we are and where we come from first. As someone who has uh, a mixed heritage, of being indigenous and yet having that settler heritage, being colonized, but also the colonizer, I've had to really grapple with what that means for me. The type of person that may be interested in this course is anyone who is questioning, what is reconciliation all about? Or I thought I knew about indigenous peoples, but but I don't know, or I'm not sure I understand what this word settler is all about. Um, so it's anyone with a curiosity to want to learn more. And so I like to bring opportunities into the class where, where, um, where people not only learn the material, but they feel the material too. Because when we're comfortable with the way we look at the world and the way we think about it, we go on in our normal way of just living. It's not reaching anything different. We're just going through our regular process. I'm particularly um, interested in individuals who are hesitant to take the course because that's the very reason to take the course. When someone is hesitant, it tells me that something has just struck their consciousness, that it's something's not fitting. And I think that's what the very thing I want to bring into my classroom.